Hello, so in today's lesson we're going to be looking at sets again, again from chapter 20, pages 424 to 425 in the book, and we're going to have a look at Venn diagrams and probability. So if you remember from last time, uh, we looked at notation, just a few little notation elements to, to check up on, uh, use of uh, those brackets when listing elements in sets, capital letters for sets, um, intersection and union um, with those symbols, um, a null set, an empty set there with uh, like a, a zero with a line through it, uh, and you can see the universal set there, and so on. So we're going to have a look at this question here on drawing a Venn diagram. So on the left hand side of the screen there you can see that uh, there's hundreds of students that uh, were asked what their favourite sport was uh, in PE. Uh, and it goes through and says six students liked uh, all three sports. 24 students liked hockey and tennis, 29 football hockey, 20 for football and tennis, 59 students like hockey, 17 students like only football, four students had no preference. And we're going to put all that information into that Venn diagram there. So first of all, just setting up the Venn diagram, uh, we've got uh, the, the three overlapping circles represent it. And clearly I'll put already there the, the number in the, the whole set is 100. Um, so football and tennis and hockey, obviously there. And then I'm just going to go through step by step each decision that I make. So six students like all three sports, so they'll be going in the middle uh, so in the crossover there for football, tennis and hockey, because that's what they all liked. 24 students liked hockey and tennis. So hockey and tennis is here. So if we've got 24 students there and we've already got six there, that's going to give us 18 more in that section. Uh, 29 students liked football and hockey. So in here we're going to have uh, 29 altogether. And then 20 students like football and tennis, so this here will add to 20. 59 students liked hockey altogether, so currently in there, uh, those are the hockey, we've got 18 and 6 and 23. So 12 more there uh, to make up the number. 17 students like only football, so only football is within football but just there. 17 students there. Four students had no preference at all. So they're on the outside. And then we're just going to use the fact that there's a hundred all together to work out the final value there. So we've got six. Uh, so there we go. We've got a completed Venn diagram using all the information from here uh, and now transferred onto there. And the next thing we're going to be able to do is then find some probabilities using our Venn diagram. So, uh, the probabilities we're going to consider, we've got an intersection of football, tennis and hockey. Uh, the union of football, tennis and hockey. Uh, looking for uh, not football and then not in the union and then they choose only tennis. So going through each one, um, if it, they want um, football, tennis and hockey all together, obviously we've got six people uh, out of 100, so 0 0.06. Um, in the union of all three sets, uh, we've got 0 0.96, because there's 96 there out of 100. Uh, not football um, is um, not 0.4, because uh, um, for football um, there is uh, 60 people, so 40 people on the outside. So 40 out of 100 is not 0.4. And then not um, in the union everything, so that's only 4 of 100, 0 0.04. And finally choose only tennis is uh, 0 0.06. Um, so that's how we use our Venn diagram there to work out the probabilities. Um, so we use the full total and then the, the values within each section. So that should give us enough to think about uh, and then we can go on and try and complete the questions uh, from chapter 20.1a on page 425. Good luck.